Pastor David here on November 4th, 2020. I'm sitting again in the backyard and enjoying the fall season and the colors of the fall. But I'm also anxious as many of us are to see the results of our election that was just held yesterday and in the last few weeks. We're waiting on the results to know what the future of our country will be as so much depends on it. We're also waiting as we think about the coronavirus and as cases continue to rise in Pennsylvania and in Montgomery County and in Philadelphia. We wonder uh, how bad the winter is going to be, if children will be able to remain in school, if we will continue to be able to worship together in the coming weeks and through the winter. We are waiting to know the future. The Bible, especially the Psalms, talk about waiting on the Lord. It's an attitude of being in prayer and trusting God for our future. And I've been reading these Psalms and uh, thinking on them in the last couple days. Psalm 25 begins, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not, me, do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. The psalmist expresses some trepidation about the future. The psalmist expresses confession of sin. The psalmist asks God to come to aid and expresses confidence and hope in God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I've never been good at waiting. I've never been particularly patient. But as I think about the future and as so much is uncertain, there's nothing to do but to be patient. And so I try to lift up my soul to God. I try to open this anxiety and this wonder and this uh, restlessness as we wait to God. There's another Psalm shortly after. Psalm 27 has a slightly more hopeful tone to it. It begins, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall, be, shall I be afraid? The psalm ends in verse 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. While we wait, we take courage. Because God is with us. No matter what the future brings, God will see us through. We don't know that things will work out the way we want them to in an election. We don't know that coronavirus will pass us by without harm. There are so many things that are uncertain. But one thing we know is that God will be with us and we can place our full trust in God. It's not easy, but let our voices rise up and cry out to the Lord. Let us wait on the Lord and take courage and be strong in heart. Amen.